Hi, Micro Puncher here, um, and today I want to do another product review. I recently bought myself uh, this uh, mobile phone adapter. I think I'm just going to remove the mobile phone so that you can see it better. Um, it looks like this. Uh, of course, uh, the eyepiece is, was not included here. Um, and uh, I want to basically give you a more in-depth uh, look at this adapter. I think it's one of the low-cost solutions uh, for actually being able to take pictures and videos using a microscope. So first I'm going to be talking about this one here. And then um, some time ago I already made a video about this uh, mobile phone adapter. Um, so I already did a review on that. But uh, in the second part of this video I want to compare those two a little bit because I think both of them have uh, certain advantages and disadvantages. I wouldn't be able to say that one is automatically better than the other, but I think there are two different uh, use cases uh, that I would like to um, address later. I ordered the adapter from China primarily because it was so cheap uh, and um, there are many similar adapters which can also be ordered uh, on Amazon. Um, as of the making of this film I was not able to find exactly the same adapter on Amazon but very many similar ones. So many of the things that I'm talking about in this video also apply to these adapters. I included links um, on the bottom. There are two screws here, uh, one of them for the mobile phone, the other one for the eyepiece. Uh, and uh, here I'm just going to put one of these eyepieces in here simply to check. This is also an adapter for um, a smaller um, eyepiece uh, which you can also clamp in here and uh, by turning the screw the eyepiece is uh, compressed uh, and uh, it's a very solid connection yeah and uh, you can also adjust uh, the distance um, of the eyepiece uh, like this so there is a lot of flexibility here um, and I'm quite sure that it fits uh, many different sizes of eyepieces and also mobile phones and uh, basically uh, what I've got here is a 25 times um, eyepiece uh, and this one unfortunately is too small okay and this one is a smaller eyepiece piece with uh, a smaller diameter and this one was a little bit wiggly when you um, inserted it um, and uh, even when you tighten it all the way and for this reason you need to have this small plastic inset that um, came along with adapter this one over here yeah and when you put this one in it's also able to accept accept uh, smaller uh, smaller eyepieces okay so uh, in that sense uh, it's a very versatile it's a very versatile system and uh, it uh, works seems to work quite well at least uh, at, for the eyepieces and mobile phones that I have um, right now I basically roughly aligned everything um, and I simply plug it in into my microscope and uh, yeah um, I'm simply getting started now okay and I'm using here now a digital zoom um, and uh, I can now take uh, photographs and videos but of course there is a little bit of a wiggle that's a little bit in the nature of the system also because the eyepiece uh, to microscope connection is not completely tight not the fault of the adapter but but that's simply part of the way that the system works um, and yeah you can also use it now to actually do directly microscopy on the mobile phone screen which is also sometimes convenient uh, if you do not uh, want to look through the eyepieces for a very long time yeah, um, and the only difference uh, or the only problem rather is is that the mobile phone tries to refocus on its own and this can be quite annoying sometimes um, so when you focus uh, with a microscope then the mobile phone tries to adjust this uh, um, and this is kind of annoying okay um, because the mobile phone of course uh, always wants to get the picture into focus so maybe there are apps uh, camera apps, apps that uh, allow for manual focusing I don't know yet uh, I have to I have to look around here okay well that's uh, the front view and yeah you can see that it it works uh, quite uh, quite quite nicely but you can also see that it's not trying to refocus all the time yeah see and that's that's kind of annoying i think okay but again that's the uh, the disadvantage maybe of a mobile phone system over camera systems which allow you um, the complete manual control yeah, so you can simply take a picture by pressing pressing on here. Generally, I would say that uh, mobile phone adapters um, are the easiest uh, and the least complicated uh, low-cost solution. And they have the advantage uh, that um, you really see the picture as you see it uh, through the eyepiece. You get a very large field of view, uh, which can be an advantage sometimes. Um, and uh, if you however want to get high quality images uh, only of a small part, part then I would say that uh, maybe dedicated camera systems are probably uh, the better option here because right now I'm using digital zoom so of course it means that you lose resolution. So let's uh, talk about some of the similarities and differences uh, first. Um, well, the overall principle of those two adapters is uh, quite uh, similar in the sense that the mobile phone is held in place uh, and then the, uh, the eyepiece uh, here, um, the part that goes over the eyepiece, um, this can then be positioned in such a way by, uh, first of all, loosening a screw here in the back, um, and this can be positioned in such a way that it's uh, 
directly over the lens uh, of uh, the camera of the mobile phone. And the same uh, is also the case here. Here we have a screw down here. I really showed this to you. Um, and then uh, by uh, moving it uh, further up and down like this, uh, you can also position the eyepiece directly over the um, over the lens of the camera. So that's basically, uh, of course, a similarity in that sense, um, the principles are the same. Um, one difference is how they're held in place. Here there is a spring, okay? Um, and this one here, there is uh, not a spring, uh, but you have to kind of um, adjust the size of the uh, yeah, of the adapter so that it fits the microscope, um, the, the mobile phone, of course. And then when it's got the correct size, you have to tighten the screw in the back. Um, so. Um, um, I don't think that it's a relevant uh, issue, but if you're kind of a little bit concerned um, that the pressure is too high, which I don't think it should be, um, then uh, yeah, this one kind of gives you more control over um, how tight um, it should be, the mobile phone. Um, having said that, um, there is um, also a very similar thing concerning the eyepiece. Um, there is a little screw up here that um, allows you to um, uh, fit, fit an eyepiece in, in there, okay? And then you have to, this one here, um, when you tighten it, you will see it does not fit, okay? Um, um, the reason is is because the diameter is too large uh, and there are actually different uh, sizes um, of this adapter available for different size eyepieces. Um, so this is kind of a, a thing that you have to take into consideration when buying this one here. And here this one is a little bit more flexible concerning um, the size um, of uh, the eyepiece because, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's able to accept a wide different range, even very small ones and also very large ones. So uh, con uh, take this into consideration, okay? So in that sense, I would say that this one here is a little bit uh, more flexible concerning eyepiece size or you're also able to fit in um, eyepieces of for stereo microscopes however there are some other issues that uh, i would like uh, to um, address here and, and that is uh, the way that uh, it, the, uh, the mobile phone is held in place. If you look uh, here carefully, that uh, then you see that there is this little thing here, this little wall, <laughs> which kind of uh, makes sure that the mobile phone doesn't fall down. And uh, this uh, part here covers, in my case, um, the... Um, the Place where you can plug in the USB cable. Um, so in that sense, uh, once uh, the micros, uh, the, the mobile phone is in the um, adapter, this part here is not accessible anymore, and I have to take out the um, uh, the, uh, the mobile phone. Um, I wouldn't say that this is a that's an advantage and a disadvantage, and that's where basically I'm already talking about the two different use cases. Um, if you want uh, to use your mobile phone uh, not only for photography but also for phoning, because you only have one mobile phone, then you are probably going to remove the, the the mobile phone and you're going to put it back in and forth uh, um, a lot of times and then I would say that this one here is probably better because what you can do is you can get everything set up and you can also adjust the size and, and then later on okay um, you just keep everything um, as it is and then if you want to use the mobile phone uh, then you just basically carefully slide it out okay um, and um, you can use it and then if you you can slide it back in again so that's um, uh, the advantage and everything's still set up okay so you do not have to recenter um, the camera over the eyepiece okay so in that sense uh, I would say this one is better if you um, keep on exchanging the mobile phone um, and this one here because I think that uh, this is kind of tight a little up oh, this was uh, the adapter okay um, for smaller eyepieces because I think this is kind of um, tight um, it's a link I, I would say maybe a little bit yeah um more difficult to um, always uh, remove and then put back in because once you remove once you've got removed even if you set it up okay when you remove it then essentially what's going to happen is, is you're never going to put it in exactly the same way and then you have to every time when you put it back in you have to realign the system okay um, so um, I would prefer this one here probably if you have a separate mobile phone and you just get everything set up and you just adjust everything and you keep the mobile phone connected uh, to the adapter um, yeah for for a longer time okay so that is um, the uh, one of the I would say major differences and of course you can see that over here the um, you USB uh, port is always accessible. So if you want to listen to music while you're taking pictures, I don't know. Um, so that is um, a fundamental difference. Um and uh, another thing that I just want to mention where I, I would say both um, adapters have the same issue and that is the following that uh, when you have uh, when you put in um, an eyepiece um, over here um, yeah and it works this one is a 10 times eyepiece you have to understand I'm not able uh, due to the nature of this particular adapter I'm not able to move it all the way to the front okay because of course on the inside there is some plastic so just to show you this one maybe all goes only all the way up to here okay um, so this means you need eyepieces that have slightly longer eye relief and um, I've got eyepieces that don't have that um, for example my 25x eyepiece uh, when I put it in there um, I w I'm not able to move it close enough uh, to to the mobile phone um, so 
I'm a little bit limited uh, with uh, my choice of the range of eyepieces. So for example, while this one physically does fit, okay, that's my 25 eyepiece, uh, physically does fit, it's not close enough because uh, of the required distance uh, between the camera and, and the front lens, the eye relief is, is uh, too small for this of this eyepiece. So then I said, okay, maybe, maybe the other adapter would be better, okay, <laughs> and I tried to do that. I and mean, here we have another problem, however, uh, that uh, because um, I'm still not able to move it close enough uh, because uh, the, the the top part here is not long enough okay so I'm, I'm just able to clamp it um, here um, right at the front okay and then the mobile phone is, is still too far away I'm, I'm not and I'm not able to move it closer anyway because uh, simply of this uh, short length of the eyepiece so in that sense uh, when you choose your eyepieces just be make sure that uh, you're able to fit them into here and in this case my 25 times eyepiece doesn't fit either of those um, and of course uh, this one this eyepiece does work because um, it's like this that uh, of course there's a long distance here where it's able uh, the clamp is able to hold yeah? so just uh, be aware of um, of the eye relief issue and, and if the eye relief is too small um, then um, also this one it won't uh, be able to work so you see that uh, um, both of them have advantages and disadvantages now I wouldn't be able to say which one's automatically better or not I, of course you cannot say this I think both of them are of excellent quality um, and uh, both of them make uh, photography through the microscope um, uh, possible in an easier way both of them in the nature of the system have it a general disadvantage and it's not maybe not the fault of the adapter itself but there is always a little bit of a tolerance uh, when you have uh, um, uh, an eyepiece um, in, in the microscope you see the, of course a small wiggle and this small wiggle um, is already enough uh, to get the whole thing a little bit out of alignment um, okay um, and uh, so even if it's, if it's only a small millimeter, millimeter a fraction of a millimeter off um, you some it goes out of alignment uh, quite uh, quickly and uh, this means that uh, um, from concerning stability um, of course uh, I, uh, mobile phone systems are not as, as good as for example uh, trinocular systems um, they are of course much more stable uh, significantly more expensive I have to say um, now uh, both of these uh, adapters also have a, a mount here um, on the side um, and uh, you might wonder why what's the whole point uh, and I think one advantage here um, is is that uh, if you really need a very stable setup uh, maybe because you're doing uh, long uh, term you're doing long term um, exposure uh, may maybe or you're doing time lapse then I um, you can uh, connect a small tripod like I've got one over here yeah I have to actually take uh, this adapter off here, okay? But yeah, I'm able to uh, uh, connect it directly also here and then you've got uh, this also standing next uh, to your... And because the microphone uh, stand has a different standard than those uh, used for cameras, I've uh, bought myself a low-cost uh, so-called ball head which attaches uh, to the microphone stand on the bottom and then to a, a camera uh, yeah, system up here. Yeah, and this is how it looks like when you connect uh, one of these adapters uh, to a microphone stand for additional stability. Yeah, so you can see here now that I not only connected it uh, using an adapter, but I uh, also now connected it to my microphone stand. And of course, this gives it a much more stable uh, support. Um, it's still a little bit wiggly, of course. <laughs> and another thing that I also want to mention is, is, and this is a little bit in the nature of mobile phone cameras, uh, is that many of the apps, or at least uh, the, the apps that I have, what they do is they do an autofocus. So this means if you refocus uh, on the microscope, then the camera thinks the image is out of focus and try to refocuses uh, and this means that uh, um, especially when doing stacking um, and if you want to take several pic uh, images of the same specimen using different focus it might be a little bit difficult generally with mobile phone cameras because it does not give you the manual control and um, also you have to use an app that allows uh, if you want to do image stitching for example you have to use an app that allows you to um, uh, you do a, um, also manual exposure control and another issue that we have of course is um, is uh, a little bit the pro not a problem but because you see a circle and you see the full um, field of view and there are of course black corners uh, where uh, you do not use uh, this uh, image information and then you have to do a digital zoom to zoom in to get a full screen view um, yeah uh, I, I wouldn't say that this is uh, these are big uh, huge issues one has to simply be aware of that I think there's absolutely no ideal perfect uh, camera system around for microscopes every system even this one here has advantages and disadvantages if there were only one perfect system I would say um, then 
all of the other alternatives wouldn't exist anyway. Um, so yeah, a trade-off everywhere. Um, and uh, that's also one of the reasons why I'm sometimes using a combination of different systems when I make videos, videos for example, for my YouTube channel and so on. Because sometimes I just uh, want to do different things and uh, then I'm switching uh, either between mobile phone um, or uh, yeah, a trinocular system here. I think. Um, I'm just gonna leave it as such. You can leave your own comments uh, below um, concerning these two adapters uh, um, if you if you know them yourself. Um, and yeah, I, I would say that this uh, should uh, be it. Uh, don't overthink the whole thing if you're thinking about uh, buying um, adapters. Uh, uh, buy them and try it out whether they work for you. And uh, if you're satisfied with it, well, that's the whole point of the hobby. Um, I wish you all the best. Happy micro hunting as as always. See you around next time. Bye bye.